very big, very hairy, and have an excellent grasp on the English language. Thanks. Welcome to 7 Things We'd Like to See in 2017's War for the Planet of the Apes. For this list we'll be looking at the top 7 things we'd like to see in the new Planet of the Apes film. So crack open a cold one, and by cold one I mean banana, and sit down with your other simian friends as we discuss what we'd like to see in the new Planet of the Apes film. Disclaimer, this video was not made by an intelligent ape, or a person that looked like an intelligent ape, or an intelligent ape wearing clothes. Number 7 Apes using guns and other advanced items If there's one thing that's more terrifying than an ape that can tell you a joke, it's an ape with a gun. From what we've seen in the previous first two movies is that apes don't really use guns. We see them use bows, we see them use spears, and even the manhole cover or two. But we've never actually really seen them use guns. There has been a rare time when apes have used guns, but it was only for one or two moments. And we have never actually seen them use any other form of technology. We've never really seen them understand or comprehend how to work some electronics or even various other weaponries that could be in use to them. So I think it would be really great to see that occur in this new Plan of the Apes movie. Is any of this making any sense to you? Just imagine the terror of an ape stopping in the middle of rampaging to pull out a smartphone and take a selfie for his new Instagram page. Or Instarate page. <laughs> Number six. Apes evolving and diverging. From what we know of the Planet of the Apes universe is that these current apes are actually too dumb for the apes that we actually know of. For example, the apes that we currently know of in our series is that most of them Barely talk. Go! Most use sign language. However, in our original story of the Planet of the Apes, or Charlton Heston, the apes are quite competent at talking and dealing with each other. Not to mention also that they have diversion to three groups. The orangutans, the chimpanzees, and the gorillas. Each one occupying a different sector in society. But we have yet to see any of this sort of development. We've only been focused on the chimpanzees. If the movie would just take a small little direct change for a little bit, just to show us more of a development of the other ape species, that would be really appreciative. Also along with showing us the development of younger apes being a lot more articulate and smarter than their older counterparts. No. Number five. More character development for other apes. Coming in at number 5, and very similar to number 6, is character development for other apes. What we mean by that is that fact is that so far we only know of two real ape characters. One being Caesar, and the other being Cobra, who is now dead. None of the other apes really have character. You don't remember the names of any of the other apes apart from Caesar and Cobra because they are the only ones who developed a type of character. There's no like side character of being like a gorilla who is constantly looking for mangoes and his name is like Mango Pete or something. But there is none of that character development in any of the other apes. And that is something that is sorely lacking in this series. And that is something we'd like to see in this upcoming movie. Number no, no, no. Woody Harrelson's character has a great backstory. If there's one character in this movie that isn't an ape that everyone is excited for, that would have to be Woody Harrelson's The Colonel. Now, you can't have a great character called The Colonel, who is also played by Woody Harrelson, without having an amazing backstory. What it could be? Who knows? A sad story? Could be sympathetic? Could be a completely opposite end of the scale. But all we know is that we'd love to see an amazing backstory done for this character. Number, Number three. three! Another Icarus Easter egg. Sorry Nintendo fans, not Kid Icarus, we're talking about Icarus the Space Shuttle. Now for all you out there who don't know, the Icarus Space Shuttle is the original ship from the 1968 Planet of the Apes movie that crash landed on the Planet of the Apes with the astronaut Taylor, aka Charlton Heston, who then discovers the horrors of a world run by apes. So far in the current Planet of the Apes franchise, we've seen 
the Icarus ship being launched in a news broadcast in the background and on a newspaper at another stage, the Icarus ship being lost. And that is exactly what happens to the original Icarus ship in the 1968 version of Planet of the Apes. And having another Icarus Easter egg would be very important to a future Planet of the Apes film. Not to mention to say that fans would just love to try and spot out in the film. Number 2 A fitting end to Caesar From rise to dawn, we have followed the exploits of Caesar from being born in a lab to then growing up and being super smart to then turning all the other apes super smart coincidentally also killing humanity to then building an ape society and then interacting and going to war with the last elements of humanity while also dealing with an assassination plot and treachery So now it's time for the end of Caesar's story We've seen his beginnings, now it's time to see his end. How he goes out, that is yet to be seen, but what we've seen from the trailer, this will be a fitting end to the last chapter of Caesar's story. Number, Number one. one! The end of humanity's reign. That's right, it's time for humanity to lose our top dog spot and go down to second best, because it's now time for the apes to take that top dog spot. From what we've been seeing from the trailers and Previously, we've already even seen that humanity is slowly shrinking and becoming smaller. War for the Planet of the Apes feels like the last dish attempt of humanity to remain at the top spot. And we, what we'd really like to see is humanity completely losing. Because without humanity losing, we don't get Planet of the Apes. Oh shit, there goes the planet. And without Planet of the Apes, we don't get Charlton Heston's character Taylor, we don't get anything. And that is something that everyone really wants to see. And there we have it, the top 7 things we'd like to see in the upcoming War for the Planet of the Apes movie. Which of the top 7 was your favourite? Leave a comment down below. And see you next time for another 7 things we'd like to see. Now, get your hands off me, you goddamn dirty ape!